Dear friends, for the month of May, the month of Mary, let us meditate daily on the invocations of her litany, daily litany to Our Lady. Please donate to help us restore Mary's Church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Go to GoFundMe.com slash Restore-Immaculate. Let us crown Our Lady this May as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. 26. Consideration Virgo Potens, Virgin Most Powerful, in Thy Hand is Power and Might. First point, he who seeks the Mulierem Fortem, the valiant woman, of whom Solomon makes mention, will see her represented in this picture, in which Mary is surrounded on every side by the arms and instruments of war, to indicate that she is that valiant woman proclaimed by the scripture as an army in battle array, and at whose might heaven is in admiration, earth is astounded, and hell is in terror. In a word, she who can with truth say of herself, He that is mighty has done great things to me, and in him I can do all things. Second point. But in what consists the power of Mary? Perhaps you may consider it consists in her tongue that pronounce the word fiat be it done, after which God came down from heaven. Perhaps in her eyes, with one of which she wounded her heavenly spouse, according to the text, Thou hast wounded my heart with one of thy eyes. Perhaps in her virginal womb, in which she bore the God-man. It may indeed be asserted to consist in all these, but according to the text inscribed beneath, it must be said, In thy hand is power and might. For Mary, as the most powerful queen of heaven, by a well-merited privilege, is as our powerful intercessor allowed, as it were, to hold in her hand the scepter with which Christ her Son governs the world. Third point. Jabel and Judith displayed great strength of arm when the one pierced with a nail the head of Sisera, and the other chopped off with a sword the head of Holofernes. But Mary showed herself as much more powerful because she supported in her arms him who supports the earth, and she embraced God, the immense and omnipotent one. Thus Mary had in her arms the arm of God, which according to the testimony of St. Paul is nothing less than the power of God. Hence it is not to be wondered at that she is so potent. Prayer O Mary, thou art and thou deservest to be styled virgin truly most powerful. For thou art powerful in heaven, where thou art triumphant as a queen. Powerful in paradise, where thou didst crush that serpent's head. Powerful in hell, from which thou dost preserve innumerable souls. Powerful in purgatory, from which through thee captive souls are liberated. Powerful against hostile armies, powerful against famine and plague powerful against sickness and against death itself, powerful in fine against all the enemies of the body and of the soul, visible and invisible. Thee, therefore, I select for my patroness. O Mary, Virgin most powerful, pray for us. If you have enjoyed this meditation, Please donate to help us restore Mary's Church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Go to GoFundMe.com slash Restore-Immaculate. Let us crown Our Lady this May as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. May God bless you for your generosity.